uh, obviously one of the all-time great horses. We will never forget him. And then along comes uh, one of the all-time great speedsters. Uh, you know, Deja was, for my money, I mean, I obviously haven't seen as much as, as you have, Marcus, but that the season of Deja sprinting as a three-year-old, quite incredible. I mean, what he did, especially on the Knavesmire, I remember watching that on television at the time, just thinking to myself, how is a horse doing that? I've never seen anything go so fast. Well, that's why, you know, the, the, the stable jockey at the time, Willie, and, Willie Carson and Dick Hearn had such a great relationship because they discussed, you know, everything about this horse, how to ride him and this, that, and the other. One day, um, Willie, Willie said to the major, you know, he had so much speed breaking from the gates, you know, that, and, and Dick Hearn said to him, why don't you just let him go? Let him make the running. Yeah. And of course, after that, he was away, wasn't he? Yeah. And, uh, oh, he's a fantastic horse. Because there was a, was, was, he was being trained as a potential seven furlong mile horse at the start of the yes. three-year-old season. I mean, I think, you know, it, well, we, we probably all try and do that a bit, to try and see if we can get them to get the Guinness trip. Yeah. You know, and, you know, but, um, and, you know, remember Ashdale actually ran in the Derby yeah. And, yeah. and went on to be a, champion sprinter. Yeah. So I think very often those trainers that ilk, they did that and, and you know, it didn't obviously come off. Yeah. And uh, you know, and the other thing is, you know, sometimes you go too early, Martin, with a, a sprinter. You, you know, you go mm. too early with them, then they don't last because their minds buzz Gone. and, and yeah. they can go. Well, all the you top know. horses, you try and stretch them out as a three-year-old to see if you can go for yeah. the guineas, like you said. But you've always said that he's always the fastest you've seen. I've just never seen a horse. No, I don't think any of us have. Probably. Was he like that at home? Was he as, as well at home? He was. Or? He was quite tricky. He had a wonderful um, lad looking after him. Um, Clem looked after him and rode him out every day. And, and I remember we laid him up in the yard, and, and he'd come out jumping and kicking every morning. It was a nightmare just getting down to the ride. Yeah. He'd, he'd <laughs> bounce all the way, cantering yeah. down to the ride, and oh. Um, once you got him onto the canter, he wasn't too bad, but he yeah. didn't care for trotting or anything like that. Just he just, go. Yeah, he just wanted to uh, canter away, and he'd be fine doing that, and um, it was always a bit hair-raising. But um, when he was um, a two-year-old, right at the back end, um, unfortunately, he was trotting, like they all do through the winter, he was trotting, um, probably had a month's trotting, he was trotting around the ride, and um, a piece of steel had fallen off the back of a tractor, and it cut through, um, it became a very bad cut behind, almost severing his really? tendon, which not many people know about. Good anyway, um, and I think when he trained as a three-year-old and you know, won, won all these races, you, yeah. you sort of thought it back in your mind, wouldn't it be great to keep him at four and do it all over again? Yeah. But I think, you know, it's a bit like a bit of a last so you can stretch it so many times. Yeah. And they're always slightly worried that, you know, something might go wrong. So did well, you have to deal with that injury? Um, yes, myself and the head lad, Geordie Campbell, um, more Geordie Campbell than me, I think, at the time. But, um, yeah, it was a worry. Yeah. Um, but, you know, luckily it held and everything came right for him. Wow. And the, the, the Breeders' Cup defeat. I mean, funny enough, we were in the studio uh, earlier this evening and I was chatting away to you our producer. Won, you? And I still, in my mm. head, believe that he won the race because he was the best horse in the race. Safely kept, obviously, was the one that got the verdict. But Willie had the race in the bag. Uh, what, what, was, what was that experience like? Well, annoyingly, um, I mean, Dick Hearn never forgave himself for some reason. He always thought that um, he'd done the same thing at Longchamp in the Abbey. Jump the shadow. Jump the shadow. And that was the first foal of, of, of that mare that um, did, did him in, the, in America. Right. It was called Jump the Shadow. Yes. Anyway. Um, safely kept, yeah. Safely kept, yeah. And, um, and so he ra always rather annoyed him, but I, I think possibly he thought he should have um, put a shadow roll on him, which is an American thing where the... Mm. You know, with the, with the yeah, bigger, yeah, fluffier yeah. Note yeah. Note. and I think um, I don't think it necessarily made a difference. I mean, don't forget he was had to be ridden differently that day anyway. To stay. Yes, and also you know he was drawn where he was drawn, yeah. and he couldn't make the running from that draw. Um, but my goodness, he was quick, and he was very unlucky to go down by such a short margin. And, yeah. But there we go. Was it, was it as simple as that after the race? There we go. I mean, yeah, I, I think uh, I was furious. <laughs> yeah, no, I, th I think, you know, it's a huge disappointment, obviously. You know, you, you, what can you do, you know? Um, it'd be nice if we can't go back the following year, wouldn't it? You can't change it, can you? You have to. You've I, always been no. good at that, Mark. How did Willie take it? Taken. Well, you say that, but I think, you know, on Derby Day, <laughs> go back to Derby Day when Sir Percy <laughs> won the Derby with Martin Dwyer. I think if he'd gone down by a short head, I wouldn't have been. <laughs> we wouldn't be sat here now, would we? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be talking to me. <laughs> what, what was Willie like after the the, the Deja defeat in the Breeders' Cup? Uh, oh, it's huge disappointment for Willie. 
huge disappointment for Dick Hearn and Sheikh Hamdan. But Sheikh Hamdan has always been brilliant, though. Mm. You know, he, he's always been a great sportsman. Don't forget, all these studs, you know, big stud farmers like his and his breeding operation, um, you know, they go through troughs, highs and lows, yeah. you know, and they don't always produce good horses every year. It's impossible. Yeah. You know, even Khalid Abdullah's stud, Jubmont Farms, they don't always do it. They don't always produce yeah. a Frankel. So, um, you know, and he's always been amazing how he's gone yeah. back. Um, with twice the force, you know, to buy horses and yes. breed horses. He's never lost his enthusiasm yeah. for it. He's been, a, for me, he's been a great person to train for, and I still train for him now, yeah. remarkably. Well, 